Ok, folkens. Eh, da, og Bjarte, eh, da har vi fått med oss Dave fra Suicide Fest. Vi må bare klippe over, og så, og så putter man inn og hører med hva som sker. Hello Dave. Hello Dave. Hello. Hello, hello. How are you guys? Oh, uh, we are we are good. We're getting uh, we're getting there. We're waking up. I think I'm better than him. <laughs> I didn't drink yesterday. Ah, uh, man. You, you know, it's an interesting world when Bianca Gubastad is your most sober friend. It's an interesting world. I like I'm just, it. I'm just on Very paid. Rick and Morty. <laughs> just on <paid. laughs> as, as a friend said in the chat, you know, I went out for a coffee yesterday and uh, the rest is history. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, Dave. Uh, you are uh, you're the man behind uh, um, Suicide Fest. Uh, yes. Tell us a little bit about Suicide Fest. W- w- what is what is what is it? What is the concept? We we've had five. We've done six shows over five years, and uh, you know, so far I think we've raised like fifty thousand kroners for mental health at Undum, wow. the Vanga region, and uh, and but it's all an excuse to just break open the conversation about depression and suicide. It's all just an excuse for me to use the fact that I'm an American in Norway and say things that Norwegians kind of can't really say without getting harshed by their other fellow Norwegians or just shut down and ignored. So I because of the because I'm able to talk about things in America and suicides in America and stuff, I'm allowed to say a lot more than what would be appropriate in a typical Norwegian setting. So then we have the show and we do these things and it's all just an excuse to get the topic open, to just open up the conversation, you know, is really what it is. Is it is it harder to do these things with with a Norwegian uh, crowd than Norwegian people than is with Americans? Yes, Norwegians will talk about anything all day long except like real heavy shit <laughs> where yeah. if you if you sat down at a bus stop next to an american and you're like excuse me do you know what time it is they, they could be like no i don't know what time it is because my i let my crackhead brother stay the night and they stole my watch because our mama's dying and like they'll just tell you everything wow. you know what i mean they make they make their decisions very fast they're not necessarily that way with everyone but it's much more straight to the point kind of thing. Yeah, At least yeah. my my experience, you know, especially in LA, New York and shit like that, but you know, it maybe we maybe we need uh, we need an American to like kick start this and and get us talking about these things. Well, see, that's what I keep hearing. And it sums with my with the comedy background and with the background that I have, like the suicide and depression and, and the drugs and all that stuff. Then I'm a I'm a good face for this because nobody else is doing it. I have another project that's just starting and I can't say what it is yet, but it, it it's an extension of Suicide Fest, only more direct and more. Uh, I'm gonna go legit. <laughs> yeah, that's all I can say. That's, that's all I can say. But I that's fucking. But that's fucking awesome, though. That's yeah. that's just cha- take, taking it to a new level because exactly. That, and 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 because the last like I will say three months in Norway, it's been a really big thing in the media and everything, and there's been a lot more talking about it also. So so, and, yeah. and you already been doing this. You established something, and and like the artists you got through the years to come and just do this shit. It, it it's been amazing and, and that you took me part this year i, I feel honored it was so oh, fun man, to do happy to have you, it's that probably awesome it's probably cringy as fuck but hey that's <laughs> part of the deal like hey who gives a fuck i heard you killed it i asked because you're norwegian i can't follow all this, but, <laughs> but uh but uh uh The ones I've asked say you killed it, man. Oh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> so, I yeah. was so fucking nervous, dude. Because it was also like the COVID thing and everything. So, so cool you put it online still doing this stuff. Yeah. And and and, and then like suddenly you have like no crowd, no nothing. It, 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 it's, it was a bit weird experience to do at the same time but it, but it was so yeah. cool and, and and that you still choose to do it you get taught to, to, to do this with you and everything so, so you get it set up. It, it's, it's awesome. 
Toe Sessions stepped in with their magic wand and went bing and made this <laughs> whole thing happen. It was to- Toe Sessions felt they're like, dude, we shouldn't be on the poster. This is your thing. You did this. We didn't do it. I'm like, no, man, this would not have happened without them. And so then it'll air uh, next Friday, the 26th at 2100 at 9. Uh, but it will stay up. So it's not only just right then. It'll stay up and because the message the message stays the same. And uh, and that might be a great way to do things from now on. Yeah. Because, yeah. you know, if we had a regular audience, too, and then filmed it so it could just go on or something, you know, especially know. when you're like when you're when you're trying to to get to get money for for such a good cause, you know, why? Why shouldn't you do it at both live in with the audience and online as well exactly the no reason to reason to hold back but but this uh as a the suicide uh, fest uh, it is it is uh, uh stand up is like the main thing yeah yeah and, and uh, w- uh, how do you go about doing stand up in in the corona times because i i know a lot of bands have like uh, been online uh, playing uh we're actually gonna have a band on the show uh tomorrow uh, and and you know they can do this but but stand up is really like something where you need to meet your audience you know so how's it been like doing this uh, during corona well that's a fantastic question what we had was maybe 20 people peppered around in a room that could hold a couple hundred so it was so there was some there but there was one dude i knew that could carry the weight of a suicide theme uh and still be funny for just a camera and that was Jan Rune. That's Jan so Rune true. That's true. He is he was absolutely the guy for this. And I talked to him about it beforehand. So he knew he knew he was expecting to just do it for the camera. So having a few extra people was a plus for him. Uh but that was a dude that could carry the weight of the topic still be funny still be charming and, and and do it for the cameras like that i tell you i'm rooting man i've done a lot of stand-up with him and that dude just blows me away every he's time really talented nice. yeah time. He's, nice. yeah he is uh yeah, that guy actor singer comedian like that dude he does it all and uh he does it well mm-hmm. <laughs> oh that's so good to her uh okay and but- the Arta. and i knew i could sorry i knew i could throw Biarta <laughs> into this uh we uh yeah Uh, yeah, I know. Hey, Dave, I know he'll do any shit show. Like the worse <laughs> the show is, the faster he's like, "Yeah, I'm there." I'm fucking. Yeah. I'm on. <laughs> that that <laughs> that's why his hair. That's why his hair today. He'll do any shit show. <laughs> no, and and because uh, she's also like, it, it's 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 when Dave asked me to do shit. It's like it's it's cool stuff. It's thought through, or sometimes it's not thought through at all. It's just like it's shitty. I'm like, I'm in. <laughs> you ask me, Dave. I'll fucking do this. <laughs> oh, why, why not be stupid? I appreciate uh, it, Dave. So. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, where, Thanks where, where, where me. do we find this? Where do we send our money? And and uh, how do we <laughs> get? How do we enjoy this? If you if you would like to donate money, you can Vips Mental Health at Ungdom Stavanger Region at eight seven zero one three eight seven zero one three. Uh, and the if you go to the Toe Sessions page on Facebook, it will air there uh, February 26th at 2100. Uh, and then it'll be up after in case you missed that. That's fucking awesome. Thank you so much, Dave. Thank you so Thank much you. for being with us. Uh, we're going to go on with a little uh, Bob Marley uh, and satisfy my soul. <laughs> yeah, so Beautiful. A, little, a little there. And, and, Thanks uh, again, guys. Thanks for being with us, Dave. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Hey all. Klipp rundt kommer fra DJ Kompis morgenshow for B-mennesker. Det sendes hver uke dag mellom 11 og 12 på Twitch. Eh, linken finner du under her. Hvis du eh, likte det du så, så håper jeg at du vurderer å komme innom og se på morgenshowet når det skjer live. Eh, og hvis du eh, synes det var dritfett, så håper jeg du vurderer å så sende et par kroner over på Vipsen, så vi kan fortsette å lage Norges mest middelmodige morgenshow ever. <laughs>